Some of the strongest hurricanes in history grew their ferocious winds in only a couple of hours. Rapid intensification. Uh, we say it a lot and it's mind blowing, but what does it really mean? To demystify this big topic, we bring in our resident digital journalist and scientific author, Dennis Mercer. Roe Dennis, let's start off first with the basics for everybody. What is the definition of rapid intensification? That's right. Rapid intensification occurs when a tropical system grows its maximum winds by at least 55 kilometers per hour over the span of 24 hours. Now that may not seem like much, but it's the difference between a Category 1 hurricane and a Category 3 hurricane over the span of just one day. Now this sounds like it's plausible, but this is actually fairly rare, isn't it? But when it happens, it's a perfect storm of ingredients. It really is. You know, tropical systems are surprisingly fragile when they try to form. You know, it takes warm waters, ample moisture, and low wind shear in order for a tropical system to grow from a depression to a storm into a hurricane. Uh, and that's why it's so rare for this to happen. Uh, when we have a normal hurricane season, most of the systems that we see in an average year are tropical depressions and tropical storms that are relatively weak and short-lived, and only a few storms make it to hurricane status, and even fewer yet make it on to major hurricane status. But when we have rapid intensification, not only do all those ingredients have to come together perfectly, but the hurricane has to strike the right balance in order to take full advantage of that kind of environment. So when rapid intensification occurs, it's pretty remarkable. Also with little to no notice, let's talk about this for a minute because when this happens, it happens very quickly. Forecasters don't have a lot of notice and that means people living in areas where these storms come ashore have little to no notice to evacuate. That's right. Uh, meteorologists have gotten a lot better at forecasting rapid intensification events in the past couple of years, but every once in a while these storms still take us by surprise. We had Hurricane Michael hit Florida back in 2018. It was a Category 3 when everybody went to bed that night, and when they woke up the next morning, it was a Category 5 as it was making landfall on the Florida Panhandle. We've had so many storms along the U.S. Gulf Coast especially that rapidly intensified over a very short period of time that didn't give people a very much notice if they chose not to evacuate or they couldn't evacuate due to financial or physical limitations. And there's Patricia as well uh, in the Mexican waters that went from a Category 1 to a Category 5 with that record low barometric pressure. These are storms that have catastrophic results in a very short amount of time. Amazing to think that they begin as just tiny clusters of thunderstorms and can turn into these ferocious beasts. It really is. And when you think about Hurricane Patricia, that storm went from a category three to a category five and I think about 12 hours. And when hurricane hunters flew through that storm early in the morning back in October, 2015, they found that the storm had winds higher than 340 kilometers per hour. That's the strongest hurricane we've ever recorded around North America. So when rapid intensification occurs in the perfect environment, it can really take these storms to heights that we've never seen before. Um, other notable storms, Wilma, Jova, Laura, Idalia, uh, rare events to have these types of storms rapidly intensifying, but could we see it more and more with climate change? We could, yeah. Researchers are really trying to study um, whether or not climate change is going to influence rapid intensification in the future. Uh, there are pretty strong indications that as waters get warmer around the world, um, especially in the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico, um, hurricanes will have more opportunities to rapidly intensify. The perfect ingredients of rapid intensification. Dennis, thank you.